uh, how can you go wrong with Shaggy? Okay, um, I'm in the studio and it is raining out there. It is raining and raining and raining and raining. It was nice for a little while yesterday. I cleaned up around the goats. Be kind to your farm animals if you got them, right? Otherwise, uh, don't be a farmer. Okay, be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Look at these nice cookies. No, well, probably say, "Oh my God, he eats a lot of cookies." I probably eat a cookie every other day. But I have a lot of coffee. Okay, there's all sorts of work to be done. Boy, I see my videos are getting uh, 10 hours, 1,000 views, 1,100 views, 1,200 views. I sure appreciate it. I wish some of you would make some comments, like, uh, geez, Frank, uh, I know some of you are, and I really appreciate it, but say something. The more comments I get, the more that uh, YouTube likes it. Seems that I'm interactive. Uh, I've been thinking about doing a live video, live streaming. Maybe I see that my peak hours are uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in the afternoon, about two or three o'clock. So uh, maybe we'll do something with a half hour live thing there, maybe. Uh, what else? Uh, comment if you'd like to see some stuff, Dougie. I see that you uh, um, you commented you want to see some of the tools and some descriptions of what's going on around here. No problems. How about we start with this? Old Barry Black, a friend of mine, he passed away many years ago, and this, he made this, he handmade this. I don't, he's got his name on it and everything too. It's like a little clamp. I guess you'd bolt it down, you could bolt it down to your milling station, but I thought, you know, it'd be neat to make like a, like an engraver's, little mini engraver's vice out of it. So here it sits, here it sits on the bench. So that's, a, that's the first tool. Okay, you guys. Uh, okay, uh, back to the studio. I found myself, uh, you know what we're gonna do today? I milled a couple little pieces. I think I might have showed them in um, in a previous video, not uh, maybe two videos ago where I was doing waxes on the bench. So I've got the machine, see I'm cutting out round little uh, nickel size pendants. And it's got a neat, uh, a neat Scottish Highlander girl on there. She's got the buckle and the hair and everything like that. I'll try to do a close up of the piece. So, why I gotta recut them is because of the size of the bit, the tip of the bit. The bit, the, oh, can you see that? The cutting bit actually has a little tiny flat top, a little spot on the top. This little bit here, that's that thing there. So some of these are different, okay? So the finer the bit, the precise, the more precise the detail can be. And so I use, that's, depending on what program you're using, it could be actually half, half the, half the thickness of the top by the length of the flute and the, and the diameter of the bit. It's all important because then it under, the machine understands where that travels. Okay, so where was I? Okay, so I took the bit that was in the machine out, but these holders are very important because the tip of the bit, that little, that little top piece, sits flat. So when I put this on a flat surface, a real precise flat surface, I know that that's perfect. Now, that's a beautiful bit, but let's uh, go to another mill over here where I've got a drawer of stuff. Okay, 0 0.005. This is 0 0.007, I believe. So let's get one of these out. These ain't cheap. They're like 25 bucks each. Canadian. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so we'll put the cap there. We put that one down so we know where it is next time. We don't want to lose them. If they're not ruined, don't don't uh, wreck them. 
Okay, so now this machine knows where the tip, I'm going to go back to the picture, it knows where the tip of that bit is. So how do I get the bit back, this new bit back into the machine so that the machine and the computer and everything knows where that spot is? Well, the holder. I drop it into the holder and I just press down gently and tighten it up. That tip, it might be smaller now, but the, the tip, the center of that the little bit, the center of that little bit, that little spot right there in the center, it knows where it is, okay? Now put this back in to the collet, tighten that puppy up. <laughs> Okay. And that's that's aerospace accurate, okay? Like really. Take that thing off, put it put it away where you know where it is, keep your tools, and then ask the machine to go back to where it was. Just go to the to the to the computer and say, Zed, I want you to go back to where Okay. It knows it's 25 millimeters off of the flat surface of the deck here. Reloading that one. Okay. Center, yeah, that's a, a disc actually, right? You can, if I bring it in real, okay. I mean, you can see there's the image in there. And okay, so I've got it loaded. I'm gonna slow this down to oh, about 60%. And let's just uh, start the spindle. This machine's a little bit noisier because it's an older machine. It's got a little Fordham or something up top here. Uh, it's got water. It's been, I just, the water's hooked right up to the spindle. And then I got a little, a little system here that keeps everything from splashing around, right? Okay. And you know what? Yeah, the, the bench is a little bit dirty, but okay, let's press start. Okay, that's, this is, uh, this machine's four-dimensional, but I'm doing three-dimensional now. Uh, there's uh, Z, which is up and down, and then X is back and forth, and Y is front and back. So it's three dimensions. But this actually has a fourth dimension here, A, which rotates if you want it to. So you can go front and back and side. This one is five. It has, it has a, a motor here. And a motor here so you would have your X uh, your X and your Y and your Z and your A but you also got B so you can do undercuts and all sorts of things like that this is uh, new solution CNC thank you Dimitri for your years of, uh, of greatness with me and I sure appreciate it. okay look at the belt buckle that little hands the fingers the dress she's wearing uh, it's uh, it's a beautiful piece it's the size of a nickel, and that is what I'm milling right now. Look at her hair and everything like that. Now, this is the first one I milled with the wrong size bit, and you can almost see the letters are a little flatter than I want. So I put a more precise bit on there, but look at you, you can you can see your hair and the little belt buckle and everything like that. Isn't that the coolest? Okay, this is a, this is a pendant. It's gonna be a little gold pendant. Okay, so it ran for, uh, oh, where is it? Right, 
right there lapse time 49 50 minutes to, to cut one because I had it running I had it running slow I had it running it's, it's much crisper okay so I'll just take that other and go okay we're back at the work uh, the wax work easy for me to say when I got a cookie in my mouth the wax work a bench say that fast three times okay here's the other two that I cut with a smaller bit right there and then these are the two so they come right out of the cutting machine right so not right out, I wash them but they just literally I've got little t I build little tabs on them so that they don't move like so the piece when the piece is held down by the clamps the little pieces are actually held down by tabs okay and so you want to be careful when you take the tabs off because uh, I gotta turn some light on and I gotta find some decent work glasses okay uh, kind of what got nice out there so we just want to cut the tabs off right you don't want to break them off because sometimes they break the wax they break the edge of the wax. You want to just take them off. <sighs> Sorry. You want to get in there and cut the little tab. Okay? So the tab is sticking onto the piece. Oh yeah, that that's much nicer. Wow. Okay. I just cut cut the wax pen on. Nope. Remember when I was telling you a story about the wax pen? It's hardwired. There's a little switch. I don't have to plug it in and out all the time. I just turn the switch on. Okay. Okay, so you, I know that these are gonna be pendants. So, I'm gonna go to my myriad of wax, my uh, silicone, <laughs> my jeweler's molds. Here's a mold. Uh, here's a, a mold. <laughs> Sorry, I'm 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 being uh, I'm sidetracked on something else. Let's see if I get some light from behind, if that helps. Okay, this is um, wax pots on. Everything's going. Uh, I'm gonna inject a few waxes like this, right? So probably this one here would be a nice size, or even this one here. These are little bales ones. And then I got a mold around here. Oh no, I just take some wire, some wax wire out of my bench. Where are we gonna go here? Let's right here. Look at this. Look at this nice wax wire. We'll wrap that around something. Look at that, we'll wrap that around. Oh, it's too big. We'll wrap that around here half a dozen times. Okay, I just cut these, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I fell on the ground. Okay. I need two, right? One, two. The rest over there in a little wax world. And now we'll just take the wax pen and we'll melt these on there. You want them identical, this one's not open enough. All right, like that. It's easier just, if you're gonna cast it, I mean, you're going to all this work, just take a few few minutes and put, put the bale on there. I mean, you can make it, hmm. Well, that's a lot of light. Uh, you can make the pieces in gold, but if you're gonna cast, Put the pieces you need in here. If you need a little piece of wire, just take a little piece of this wax wire and just stand it up on there then. And cast the wax wire. Because I mean, you're going through all the trouble anyway. So um, I think this is gonna, when I put this one together, it's gonna be a 20 minute video. So I don't, 
I'm trying to make them so that they're like, oh, I don't know, 14, 15 minutes. Um, you know, with advertisement, they're half an hour show. Um, comment, tell me whether you like it or not. This one, know that I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna wax that on there. I'm gonna wax on a little sprue. I'm gonna wax on a little a little sprue set up on these. I'll cast it from the back. There's a sprue, it'll go there. And then uh, a sprue that'll go there. I'll wax those pieces together. And then they're gonna go on to a base. I'm gonna use a small base and a small flask. I'm gonna weigh them. I'm gonna mark them down on the list. And I'm gonna do the uh, the bales to go with them. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna piece this one together and see how long it is. Okay, have a great day. Like I always farm animals, otherwise don't have them. Yesterday we had so many eggs. I think there was uh, five dozen out there. Uh, thank you, chickens. The chickens, uh, the chicken egg sales pay for my entire farm operation, uh, seriously. Pays for all the goat tech, the goat feed, uh, the de deworming medicines, anything I need for the chickens. It pays for the, for the, for the uh, composting material. It pays for the wood chips. Uh, and so uh, it's a lot of fun too. And it's a lot of work. But be kind to them, otherwise don't have them.